getting started doing the valve job on the 340 Buick cylinder heads. So I just got the valve guides put in this head. Now I'm going to go through and we're going to put the valve guides in the second head. After we get the guides in and honed to our finished size, we'll start putting in valve seats. started from this end and we'll drive them in. So we've got them driven in. At this point I'm going to trim them down a little bit and on the intake since we are going to be putting a seal back on them I'm going to trim them down to a 530 OD. With all the guides in, we're going to get this head up over here on the surty. I'm going to use the surty to cut the seat counterbore pockets and we'll get our new seats pressed in. And here's one that I actually already have the new seats in. I went through, cut the intake first, then installed the intake seat, then went back, cut the exhaust counterbore and cut the seat or, you know, installed the seat because it comes out super, super thin between these two. I mean, probably less than 10 thousandths of material between the two. So, um, you know, sometimes I'll cut both at once and then drive both in, you know, but in this case, it made more sense to do it one at a time. Intake seats are in, so now we're going to go in and we're going to cut our exhaust seats. <laughs> So now I've got the counterbores cut for the exhaust seats and I'll go ahead and get those driven in. And look how, just for reference, look how close there is. I mean, there's barely material in between the two seats. We were, we were kind of thinking that they were gonna end up overlapping. So our plan was to cut, you know, do the intake and then if they were gonna overlap, we wanted to leave the exhaust seat the most intact. But in this case, they just barely don't overlap. They just almost kiss each other. Dad's getting set up here to grind a flywheel. So 
So what happened right there is our setup was probably a little bit off. So we're taking it back off, um, try to clean up the flange a little bit more, make sure that it's there's no burrs or anything um, to make sure we get it square on the table before we uh, resurface it. Now he's getting it set back on. That's better. start out here with opening up the inside of the intake seats. Start by opening the ID of the exhaust again. And now we'll cut the seats. That's about going to wrap it up on the seats on the Buick. So I'm going to give them all the vacuum tests like always, make sure that they're good. So just checking like always, I put a valve in and we're pulling pretty good vacuum here. And this is without any lubricant on the valve guide. So there's going to be a little bit of vacuum escaping down the guide. So when I turn this off, I can tell just from experience that that valve is going to seal once we have, you know, lubricant in the guide or, you know, a valve sim seal on. put the vacuum back on and now you can see the gauge is pulling even higher and when I turn this off very 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 small amount of leak down testing an exhaust valve I've only got one of the new valves in we're still waiting on new um, I reground the intake because we're planning on reusing the intake valves but the exhaust valves had some wear to them um, so we're reusing them and again you know, that's with no lube on the guide. I'm confident that that seat and valve are cut correctly. That one's got the lube on it.
Apparently the video audio failed here, but I think I said something like, wow, that's a pretty good size flywheel, Detroit Diesel. And here I was just mentioning again how the easiest way to keep a clean shop is to clean after every job. And finally here I was just giving the closing spiel. Valve guides and seats are finished on the Buick heads. Next they're going to move over to be resurfaced before we can do the final assembly. I've got another set of Subaru heads that are probably going to be getting a valve job, as well as a ton of miscellaneous jobs in the shop, like this Datsun U20 head that I'm actually waiting on some tooling to come in so that I can do that head. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little vlog, and don't forget to like and subscribe for the next video.